this is my patient, guys. As you can see, we got some very, very dry earwax in this canal. Not blocking the canal up, but just more uncomfortable for the patient. This one, just because uh, it's in an outer portion of the ear canal, it's gonna, with jaw movement, it's gonna be pressing against the side of those canal walls all the time. Uh, we're just gonna lift from the bottom here. Oh, you can see a little bit of skin, which is why it's so dry, because we've got this big flap of dry skin at the outside part of the ear canal as well, hanging on to the wax. Like that. <laughs> Clinging yeah. to the wax. So we're just going to, I can see it's also going to get in my way, but I want to get the wax out first because I know what's going to happen. As soon as I lift that piece, it's going to want to go all the way across to the other side of the canal and then we're going to hit against this wax. Yeah. So I want to get these wax pieces out first, then work on the skin. I sometimes had some patients mention, uh, even if it's not completely blocked up like this one, I've had some really like dry pieces of wax that have been just touching up against the eardrum and I've actually yeah. reported them sounding... Um, uh, not uh, like a drum, like, like a, yeah, like a vibration. Yeah, almost. you can, uh, yeah, they can hear just something touching up against it. So, yeah. if you get anything like that, just get them checked. Yes, get yeah, well, any, anything to do with your ears as well. Yeah, it's always <laughs> worth getting it checked. And, you know, I know it varies from countries, uh, state in America, you know, over here in the UK, you've got NHS, you've got private as well. Uh, most private uh sort of clinics will will you know take a look in your ears for you know just to let you know what's going on in there and um, a lot of the time you don't have to pay for it some do some don't it, it does vary so always check with your local clinic uh and, you know so if it's difficult for you to get into your gp sometimes uh you can do it with this one now this i was trying to go over the top and just to try and see if i could break it but i could see it wasn't going to break so i've gone the other way and we're going to lift and mm -hmm it's just it's a little bit on the thin side so we can't get the whole of the suction tube onto it to get that yeah. really good grip but now we're starting to peel and this is what i meant about getting rid of the wax first is because you can see how far across we had to pull that oh, skin yeah. to get it off and i'm just going to go up and down now just to shear it there you go and off really? that comes that. and there's the eardrum looking nice and healthy there so if we look at the other side similar story we can see it goes down a little bit further on this side so we're just going to get I'll just <laughs> double check. Um, so we're just going to get that. <laughs> uh, so we're going to take this away. I'm trying to remember to hold the wax as I take it out of the ear. Because I always forget yeah. to do that. And I'm trying to remember to do it so you it's guys so can see it. Like, it is, it, just... it is. I need to remember to do it because that's the bit that makes the thumbnail. So if I don't oh, do yeah, it, I've got nothing to put a thumbnail. <laughs> so uh, for, for the video. So we're just going to take these bits off. There we go. Oh, nice. Uh, Christmas, December's rapidly approaching. Yes. Oof. Yes. We're still undecided what we're doing. We, we're hoping we're going to get a full wax wind out this year because it is super duper busy. We are really going to try to do it this year. Uh, so we are trying our best, but you know, bear with us. We will let you know a bit closer at the time what is going to happen because it's a bit in limbo at the moment. But we will be doing something. Um, something. Three quarters of an inch. Two, two centimeters. I didn't even look at the rule. <laughs> two centimeters. And uh, this is a patient for myself uh, who actually came in to see me yesterday. Um, now, you can see there's not a great deal going on here, to be honest. There's a, there's a small amount of wax on the side of the ear canal. Uh, this wasn't interfering with the patient's hearing, but this is more of a, a sort of a feeling, you know, like yeah. something's in there. A uh, bit of itchiness, a uh, bit of irritation sometimes as well, because this is quite dry. It's a, you can see the skin on this. Yeah. Uh, you, and the patient has been using a little bit of oil, but I honestly think this has just gone past the point of softening. And you can see there's a lot of like dry skin around the the wax holding it in place as well. Um, so we've got the fine end on here. So you can see we've got quite a narrow ear canal as well. Uh, not, not, not really troublesome. Um, patient has historically had wax removed uh, quite a you know quite a number of times. Uh, but we've got this little bit on the roof now. I've 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 kind of lost my view a little bit here because I'm trying to trying to focus on holding the ear open while I'm trying to get the right angle, and yeah, it's proven to be a little bit tricky. But they always are in that area, aren't they? Yeah, Not it's just, the, just angle. the angle you've got to got to get the suction tube on. Um, it's and just the fact it's quite dry, you can see the whole thing is like moving as I'm touching up against it. So I'm trying to peel it off the ear canal here. So here we go. Just attached. Lovely. I think we're just gonna do a little bit of tight. I'll try and do a little bit of tidying up on this 
a little bit of dry skin it's here. It's a very thin layer of dry yeah. skin. It's difficult because you're not going to be able to get a very good grip on that, you? No, so it's, it's still firmly attached. So what we're going to do is just kind of put it back in. <laughs> just put it back down. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Nothing to see. <laughs> No, those, those little bits, they're still really firmly attached. Yeah. And again, like we've said on a few videos in the past, <laughs> if we start peeling that away, it can actually get quite uncomfortable for the patient. So they can feel a little bit of pulling. It tends to bring the blood to the surface sometimes. So I'd, I'd just rather not cause any of that and just yeah. kind of leave it there. It's not troublesome. So yeah, nice, nice little easy one. Just uh, what we got, just about a centimeter, I would say. I'd say that is half an inch. So this is my patient guys today and oh my goodness this was a mixture of hair and wax it was all very dry in here as well not blocking the ear canal completely so the patient could hear better this was more of a uh, sort of like an irritation inside the ear canal a sensation something in there when they were getting water in there it was getting blocked for a little bit and the reason for the irritation is you can see we've got this dry plug with all these bits of hair stuck in it we're all protruding out around the outside just edge tickling the ear canal, just tickling the ear canals <laughs> uh, so we got that out really really nicely and there's a little bit just at the entrance here so I'm just taking this away now you can see the very very dense hairs on the outer portion of the ear canal here now this is where those little tiny hairs on the inside are coming from and that's because I think there's been a bit of ear hair trimming going on and that ear hair has been going down inside the canal a little bit fuller on this side now I, first of all I thought this was going to be like almost a flap of skin because yeah, I had that yeah. look to it yeah but I would have thought that. <laughs> it did, yeah, we could see it, that kind of mm. ripples in the front of it, so it did look like a flap of skin. Uh, but this is actually lots of dry pieces which are sitting one over the top of the other. Now, this is the pa the year the patient didn't really have much in the way of an altered sensation, which was really strange. That, uh, sounds about right. Yeah. But, <laughs> it usually happens. It does, but there's loads of stuff in here, this one, loads and loads of wax. Um, but I think what's happening is where the, the pieces are sitting one in front of the other, whereas the other side was a, a bigger chunk with those hairs sticking out, this was lots of smaller, a thinner chunk sitting one in front of the other so when the jaw was moving they weren't actually touching each other they were passing over one another uh, so this way there was no sort of real altered sensation in this yeah. one bit of dry skin you can see just how dense those hairs mm -hmm. are now on the outer portion of the ear canal here and it's always difficult if you're working towards the outer portion of the canal with a with a yeah. very hairy ear canal like yeah. that because you've got to sit right behind those hairs and you normally will what you said about the hearing and patient didn't really have or didn't feel there was any problem mm. on this side. <clears throat> Generally, um, most people tend to hear, even if the ear is mostly full of wax, yes. especially harder, drier wax, the, the vibration still yeah. tends to get through okay. It's when the wax is very soft and runny is when it really feels blocked yeah. up, but that's usually the, the reason if it you know, still feels okay. So don't be uh, shocked when you, you know, if your ear feels absolutely fine, someone looks in and says, oh, it's full of wax. Yeah, and it does shock a lot of people, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. we, we say, you know, you're, you're full on both sides, and they're like, no, no, I've only got a problem with this one side. <laughs> Uh, so we can see a little bit of dry skin, similar to, to, to Taylor's one we have uh, we saw recently, where there's that little flap of dry skin oh, right yeah. at the entrance. So we're just going to tidy this away. There we go, just get these little bits. It's come away quite nicely. It's actually coming away better than I thought it mm. would, actually. There we go. And eardrum looking nice and healthy there as well. Oh, so we have one and a quarter, no, one and one eighth of an inch, I think that is. Three centimetres. I say I always get the easy ones. We do, yeah. We'll swap for the next one. You're going to have inches, Dallas. I'll be like this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, guys, thanks for watching our video again today. If you do enjoy the videos, don't forget you can always like, heart, share, follow, and subscribe for us. If you thoroughly enjoyed the videos, you can also consider becoming members of the channel. That way, then you get to see even more videos as well. Uh, but as more, you can well. see us more. You wouldn't want that. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. Um, and uh, yes, as always, guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of your ears. And take care of one another. Myself and the lovely Mr. Taylor Green. We'll see you again real soon. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.